what a singer. The, the range was so incredible, and I could tell that she was singing it all from here because her face wouldn't even change. No matter how, how high the note, how, no matter how intricate, singers do a lot of machinations. I do it when I sing. You know, your face does this and you like that, and you do all these things. Her face stayed static. Just these notes would come out, and I was um, so impressed by that. She's a true musician, a true musician. The first time I met her, I believe, was at the Do You Want to Do My Special meeting, um, and that's usually... It was the Karen and her brother, uh, Richard, and um, everybody's people. We all had people. <laughs> and of course I wanted to do it. She, she, the, the Carpenters were the hottest singing group in the country at that time. I mean, who didn't always have We've Only Just Begun running around in our heads? I still have it running around in my head. But the real first impression that I got of Karen was in the recording booth for that special. And she had done it a zillion times, I had not. I was stunned by Karen in the recording booth that her face remained static and yet these notes were coming out of her that were like on top of the note. She wasn't ever under the note or even at the note, she was on top of it. And um, either got that or you don't. And she had it. When I look back on it, uh, I've been busy my whole career, but I've never been as busy as I was then. When you're on the number one show in the country and you have the kind of demographics I had with females in television, every weekend is filled with something. How could you not like those two? They didn't have a bad bone in their bodies. They never said anything uh, that would be um, negative or, or uh, that anyone would want to challenge. And I didn't spend a lot of time with her, but the time I, I spent with her, there was something sad. I was too young and I, I wasn't astute enough then to be able to like peel it away, the human condition. I find myself sad because we grow and evolve as human beings. Who I was then is not who I am today. And that's the great thing about aging is um, you, uh, you spend a lot of time with yourself by the time you go from decade to decade. and. Um, uh, you come to peace with yourself and you come to see yourself as, you know, your own uniqueness. But when you're young, it's hard. And she was, she was young. She was, I think when I worked with her, who knew she was only going to have another couple of years?